Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today I thought I'd show you how to make your own hydrogen and oxygen. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're in the workbench here. This should be an actually, uh, let's see, let's start this over. This should be a pretty simple uh, tutorial here. Uh, it's quite easy to do. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some gas tanks here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with the large tanks, and we're going to sit two of these side by side here. Uh, is that side by side? Uh, yeah, let's do it right about there. Um, and we're going to go ahead and make one of these oxygen. We're going to make it empty. We're going to make the other one hydrogen, and we're going to make that empty. Uh, just like that. Uh, the other piece we need is our uh, electrolyzer. Where is it? It is somewhere in here. I just thought I saw it. Uh, let's see. Space, maybe? Base parts? Nope. Okay, let's find it the old way. All right, here it is. If you are looking for it, it is under fluid components. Uh, it's kind of stuck right in here with the stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, let's see. Um, what did I call these? This was oxygen. Let's go ahead and paint this, make this easier to understand. And this is hydrogen on the right. We are yellow because diesel is orange. Uh, all right, electrolyzer. Let's go ahead and place that down. And we can do it just like that. Hydrogen out, oxygen out, both sides. Perfect. Let's pipe this up. Uh, it should be pretty simple. Uh, you don't have to really do anything extra at all. You're just going to take this straight to the tanks. Uh, let's do some pipes coming down here like so. And I'm sure you can make an even more compact version of this as uh as things go on and we figure out how to use these more. But uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna use the large tanks here and we're gonna make a custom tank here for our electrolyzer. Build a box around this like so. We'll do that. Let's go ahead and make it taller. And I'm thinking what you could do is maybe have this stick on the bottom of a vehicle and actually be able to just suck up salt water. Uh, I'm gonna test it here with salt water and see if it actually does produce hydrogen, oxygen, or if we need just fresh water to do it. Uh, but for the sake of this, let's go ahead and grab a spawner. We've got a fluid spawner. We're just going to set that down right there. And I know fresh water works. So just for the sake of this tutorial, let's see. Let's start out with salt water and see if it actually starts electrolyzing and working right. All right. So the other thing we need to do is turn this electrolyzer on. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a constant on signal. We'll just put that right there. Let's go ahead and hook this up. And let's see, let's double check. We are testing with seawater. All right, let's spawn this in and see if this works. Ooh, that was a heavy drop. Heavy, heavy drop. Uh, nothing's working. Infinite electric, infinite fuel, everything's on. So maybe it's uh, it doesn't like salt water. Uh, let's try fresh water. All right, switch it over to fresh water. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, yeah, we are already producing oxygen and we are producing hydrogen. So what you're, you're not gonna be able to just drop down into the ocean and grab water and produce hydrogen oxygen. You're gonna to need to make yourself a desalination system first, and then you're gonna to have to run it through to make fresh water, and then you can make your hydrogen and oxygen. So it is possible, so we're gonna to have to see some huge, huge manufacturing plants to do this. Uh, I think something cool to do in the future would maybe, maybe take the oil rig and do something out there. We'll maybe do some oil drilling and hydrogen oxygen production on there maybe make a huge landing pad something like that i think that could be really 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 cool uh let's see so now i'm curious if we can actually ramp this up if we put pumps on this does this actually go faster so let's try that out all right so we're just going to try the the medium pump here we'll uh we'll use our same constant on to turn those on and that's going the right direction let's see if this seems like it's any faster oh yeah listen to that new pump noise that's kind of cool yeah i don't feel like we're moving any faster with those pumps let's try the large pumps all right so we'll take the large pumps i think we can set it like that and just kind of repipe it this way maybe Does that work yeah that works okay let's hook it up get some power on those and i just want to double check that this is the out port yep that is the out port uh perfect this should uh let's see i gotta make it fancy there we go let's try this does this feel faster no we're not moving any more liquid uh so i guess there's restrictions on the electrolyzer here uh, so yeah, don't need pumps at all. So we could go back to the original design where it's just the electrolyzer and then the two pumps. So we got to figure out how to do our desalination system and make that quite efficient so that we can have a lot, a lot, a lot of water on board. Uh, I know that, you know, if it's, it's, it's almost a one-to-one, -one. uh, you'll actually, I think you'll run out of water a little bit faster than you will be able to fill up a, a tank system here. So I think it was like 5,000 liters of water you're gonna get something like four thousand something liters of of gas 
uh, between the two tanks. Uh, so yeah, uh, guys, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Uh, it helps you figure out how to make some hydrogen and oxygen for your vehicles and for the future, and maybe just for whatever you need. Uh, I don't know, just another system here. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you 100%. If you are enjoying these tutorial videos, make sure you throw a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll have a lot more coming out as soon as we figure out how to do them.